Clinical Pearls, brought to you by Medicom Oncology. Hello, my name is Dr. Ruben Yezvisky, and it's my pleasure today to discuss venous thromboembolism in patients receiving immunomodulating agents such as lenalidomide or thalidomide. Uh, indeed, this is a risk that occurs in many patients with, uh, the, uh, with multiple myeloma receiving therapy, but we have to understand that there is a baseline tendency for patients to be uh, uh, to suffer hypercoagulable syndrome, uh, and therefore uh, uh, the addition of uh, lenalidomide or thalidomide uh, increases the risk. However, the risk is way higher when uh, dexamethasone is added and much higher when this is given at high doses. So the first step is to try to avoid as much as possible the use of high, higher doses of dexamethasone or polychemotherapy when combined with uh, uh, lenalidomide. Now, uh, from all the risk uh, combinations, the use of um, doxorubicin or alkylating agents can enhance the risk of thrombosis in, in patients receiving lenalidomide or thalidomide. But uh, now in recent days, the combinations of lenalidomide with dexamethasone or uh, proteasome in, in, inhibitors has reduced the risk of thrombosis at 5% or less. For this, um, the typical um, uh, antithrombotic agent is uh, aspirin, uh, uh, I'd bait at a low dose of 100 milligrams, 85 milligrams, or in a higher doses as well. The risk of uh, throm thrombosis in patients receiving aspirin ranges between 2 to 5 percent, depending on the, high, on the risk group. Uh, patients with higher risk groups, which are those who uh, have a high dose uh, uh, corticosteroids, other chemotherapies, or other risk uh, associated with, with thrombosis, uh, are recommended to use uh, a more intense uh, anticoagulation. Low molecular weight heparin, such as enoxaparin, can decrease the risk at this point. Randomized trials have shown that the, the use of uh, low molecular weight heparin can reduce the risk of pulmonary embolism, uh, but not completely uh, as a group of patients receiving low molecular weight heparin can, can still suffer uh, thromboembolisms at 1.5 to 2 percent. Therefore, it's important to individualize case by case before initiating antithrombotic therapy in multiple myeloma, receiving lenalidomide or thalidomide. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to the Medicom Oncology podcast channel for more clinical pearls. And be sure to visit managingmyeloma.com for more practice resources.